Hey guys, it's Katie and today I'm going to be sharing with you my TBR for the Biblio games. So this is round two. It was previously called the Booktube games but they changed the name to make it more book friendly for the whole community I guess. What are you doing Bader? Yeah but they wanted to make it more friendly and for the entire book community rather than just Booktube so they did change the name. Um, and this round is happening from June 1st to the 30th so the whole month of June and it is sky high themed which is um that Disney Channel movie I missed that that like throws me back so far <laughs> like so nostalgic but uh anyway I'm gonna share with you guys my TBR I am on the sidekick team so um yeah I took the quiz that's what it said I was so we're gonna do that um so the group book for the sidekick team is Not Your Sidekick by C.B. Lee. Um, this book isn't available at my library, I don't think. It's not on Overdrive, so I can't get the audiobook. I don't own this book, but um, I might go to the bookstore this weekend to kind of see if they have it. If not, I did see it on Amazon for $11, so I might just order it. It sounds kind of interesting. Um, so maybe I'll pick it up and we'll read that because gotta get them points. Uh, <clears throat> why are you so mean? Ow, Vader. Ow. Stop eating my foot. You're mean. Stop it. Shush. What, baby? You're eating the tripod. For homeroom, it's to read the group book, which is not your sidekick, like I said earlier. Um, one of the next main classes is gym, and the challenge for that is to read a format you don't typically read. So for this, I chose, uh, Vampire Night. This is manga. I don't typically read manga, even though I have about, like, I have, like, three series. I have Dean Angel, I have, uh, Death Note, and I have, uh, Vampire Night. I'm wanting to read this for a while. I watched a little bit of the anime, um... But yeah, I have like the first, uh, I don't know if there's more than 15, but I have 15 volumes of this because I bought them at Colossal Con like a couple years ago. And I just haven't picked them up because I don't typically go for manga um, usually, but I do want to read it and I'm interested in reading it. So, you know, it'll be a quick read for the readathon. And if I finish this one, I will move on to the other ones as well um, just to get extra pages in. So yeah then the last main class is lunch and that challenge is to read a book with a satisfying ending so i did a little uh, google search and a little asking around and i chose an abundance of catherine's by john green and apparently this book isn't sad like his other books i guess they said it's pretty satisfying of an ending hopefully i don't cry and it's actually satisfying but we'll see um yeah, I've had this book for a while. Like, this is one of the fir first books I ever bought, and I literally bought it because my name's also Catherine, my full name. And, um, it was kind of a joke, because we're like, oh my god, an abundance of Catherines, because literally I know at least five people that are also named Katie or Catherine or Caitlin. Like, I know so many people with that name. Like, it's crazy. Like, I always had to go over my last initial in school because there was at least, like, ten other Katies in the class. It, it, it was wild but um yeah so fun little story there but uh I've had this for a while so I should read it I think it's the only John Green book that I own that I have not read yet so I should probably do that and now the next three challenges are specific to the sidekick so the first challenge is comic relief and that's to read a book with a funny side character so for this one I actually chose Heretics Anonymous um I don't really know if there's funny side characters but it said that it was a comedy and it sounded like it might be a little bit funny um just because it's about this kid that goes to this school and I guess he joins a club full of people who are atheists um because his parents are super catholic I guess and they all kind of like form their own religion I guess I don't know it sounded like it would be kind of funny maybe a little bit satirical um and I've heard good things about this book, so I figured I would read that. I have it on audiobook, so that would be nice to fill some time during the readathon. The next challenge was hero support, and that was to read a graphic novel. So for this one, I chose 
Saga. Um, I've heard really good things about this. Uh, I literally bought um, just the first like issue because it was like super cheap. It was like three bucks, I think. Um, and I didn't want to like commit to spending fifty dollars on the giant like bind up if I didn't like the series. So I figured I'd get this little uh, just a little issue of it, and if I like it, um, then I'll probably go ahead and buy the rest of the series. But um, yeah, I figured I'll just give this a little read. And the last sidekick class is Mission, and this is to read a nonfiction book. So for this, I chose Dance Macabre. I don't know how to use a French accent, but I took four years of French. You'd think I would know how to accents, but I can only read French. I can't speak it. I'm like reverse illiterate. But um, <laughs> yeah, uh, so I want to read this um, by Stephen King. This is a kind of like a, this is about like it's, it's about like his writing and like horror and how scary stuff affected, I don't know, it's basically about his inspirations for his novels. So I want to read this because yeah, I, I had it in my last TBR for the Bookiemon, I think. Yeah, I think I had it in my last TBR and I didn't get around to reading it, so I'm gonna read it next month. <laughs> Maybe, hopefully, possibly, I need to. So yeah, those are all the books for the challenges. Now, that was only six books, so I'm gonna actually add two more books because my goal is to kind of try and read two books a week, maybe? Get those word counts. I mean, some of them are obviously manga and we have a graphic novel, so those are gonna speed by super quick, so I don't really have a lot of full-length novels, also one's an audiobook, so that'll go by so quick because I'll just listen to it on my way to and from work and at work. So, um, I chose, for my two extra books, I chose Ignite Me by Sahara Mafi because I have yet to read this book. Yeah, I bought it like four years ago, and I still have yet to read it. So... It's about due time, and if I do finish this, I'll probably just move on to Restore Me, which I have behind me. You can't see it, but I have Restore Me on my shelf because I purchased that, even though I haven't read this yet. Then I also need to go get Defy Me. I still don't own that book because I'm trash, but yeah, I need to read this. Um, I think there's like some stories in Unite Me I need to read too, like the short novellas. I don't really know how important those are to the plot, but I did read the first story in there because it went between book one and book two, and I think there's one that goes between book two and book three. I have to look up the reading order, but yeah, I'll read those too. And like, this cover is just gorgeous, and like, I love this book so much. I need to read it. I hope I remember anything that happened in the first two books, because it's been a hot second since I've read those. Maybe I should just listen to the audiobooks and get a refresher. <laughs> then the last book that I chose to read is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. I literally bought this around Christmas time because um, I wanted to read it and I was hearing a lot of hype about it and yeah so I should probably read it because I'm interested so you know we're gonna we're gonna add it to this pile of books we're gonna try to read it but yeah that is my entire TPR for the Biblio games. I'm looking forward to uh, joining in again this round. It was a lot of fun last time. Um, I like that there's like a little Discord chat with everybody so we can all chat throughout it. I don't know, it's a lot of fun just to be with the whole community for a whole month and do nothing but read. And there's a little competition, so you know. If you guys are not a part of the Biblio games, I'll leave a link to the, their uh, Twitter page down below so you guys can... Uh, join in if you'd like. Um, let me know if you guys are already participating and what team you're on down below. Okay, but uh, that's about it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. So, bye! Come here, you want to be a part of it? You want to be a part of the video? <laughs> you want to read? You want to read? Baby, little baby, come here.